What is up, fellow pack members? Welcome back to Thrill Pack Live on this lovely Thursday evening. Glad all of you guys could join us tonight. Looks like we got a packed house tonight. Exciting. Jose C is up in the house. What's up, buddy? DNA, Red Ryan, Mike Roselle. What's up, guys? Jeremy P is back. Joseph H, what's up, buddy? Glad you could make it back. Joseph had a, uh, I think, a good introduction with us last week, so I'm glad to see you back here, buddy. Mike R. Hollis, what's up, my friend? Hollis build up in the house. John D. Ryan, what's up, Ryan? How you doing, my friend? John D. Ryan, let's see. Chad D. is up in the house. Keith? Franco L. Welcome to the pack, Franco. I think this is your first time here, right? Is that right, Franco? Let's make sure all the new pack members feel at home per usual, guys. Chad S. is up in the house. What's up, buddy? Founding father, Chad S. Watching with Hunter this evening. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Hunter. Thanks for hanging out with Thrill Pack tonight, buddy. Richard R. is up in the house. How you doing, Richard? Good to see you. American Termite. Welcome to the pack, buddy. So we've got a full house here, guys. I'm loving it. So we're going to load up our bounty wheel. And uh, I'll explain what the bounty wheel is for uh, all the new pack members. Then we're going to play a game of You Guess That Card. We've got two breaks that are already filled, and we have more that are filling up quickly as well. So we have at least two group breaks. Oh, Thrillmatic is filled as well. So three group breaks tonight. And others are closing in on being filled as well. So Thrillmatic. Thrillmatic, which is the new Bowman Chrome. The new Bowman Chrome Bowman Mega Box and some Chrome value packs. So that's going to be third up tonight. First up, we're going to have select number five and then prism number nine. So that's how things are going to roll this evening. Let's see, we're almost there on Luminance. Only nine spots left on Luminance. Only eight spots left on the Stadium Club Hobby Mixer. And about halfway there on the basketball. So others are closing pretty fast as well. Let's get our wheel loaded up like, like we always do about that time. Hunter's birthday tonight, guys, so let's see if we can pull some fire in honor of Hunter. All right, here we go. Bounty, this is how the bounty works. What we're doing here is we are adding a bunch of players, and I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna ask for requests in a moment, to the wheel, we spin the wheel, and whatever it lands on, that sets the bounty, the first bounty for the night. And if anybody pulls that card in a group break or personal, then it triggers a giveaway in the chat where anybody can win. So we're all rooting each other on trying to pull this player. So let's do two, let's start off like we normally do, two modern baseball players I'm going to throw onto the wheel. There we go. Juan Soto and Tatis Jr. Let's go to vintage baseball players as well. Okay, so we've got Chipper and Mr. George Brett. Beautiful. Let's go with our football now, foosball. Let's get two 
Two modern football players on here. Two modern football players. Two vintage football players as well. Two modern and two vintage football. Mama said alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Joe Burrow is a good one. One more. Favre is good for the vintage. So one more modern and one more vintage foosball. The search continues. Bobby Boucher. So we got two modern. We need one more vintage. One more vintage. Matt Hasselbeck? <laughs> Johnny Unitas? That's a good one. I don't think we have a, a chance at pulling Johnny Unitas, though. I'll go Matt. Okay, prime time. Prime time. Prime time. All right, and then finally for the basketball, we're going to do two vintage basketball players. Benny the Jet, nice. But but Benny and the Jets. So two, there you go. Mr. Robinson's neighborhood and Mr. Rodman's neighborhood. All right, guys, wheel is loaded up. Let's save this. And give it the old spinneroo. Spinneroo. There you go, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is the first one. This should be relatively easy. Okay, Joe Burrow is bounty number one. Keep that right beside me here. And we're ready to play. You guessed that card. Okay, so let me make sure I know who it is. Got it, all right. All right, so here's how this game works, guys. I have... One second. All right, there we go. All right, I have a card hidden behind these tiles. And I'm going to slowly start revealing the card. You get to guess one guess per round i'll tell you when the round starts and ends so wait for my cue before you start guessing and you get one guess per round and to get a correct answer you need the player's name the sport and the card brand so three correct elements to a to a winning guess and then you get to pick the winner gets to pick from the giveaway pack stack any pack of your choosing from the, the old giveaway pack stack. So here we go, guys. Wait for my cue before you start guessing. Good luck, everybody. All right. Let's see if we have any guess that card savants in here we'll start right there round one is open round one is open guys one guess per round
<laughs> Fred Flintstone. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll close out round one, and we'll give you some more tiles. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, round two is open. Open for business on round two. One guess per round. All right, let's see how you guys are doing here. This is a little bit tricky relative to the other ones that we've done. Stepping up the degree of difficulty since you guys are turning into masters of the game. He's a master of the game. One of you guys is close. Very close. We don't have any Alan... G What's up, John? We don't have any Allen and Ginter at all. We have a few blasters of fire, but I think we're going to be using them all for, for group breaks. We might have like maybe one or two, but I think they're mostly all being used in group breaks. Okay. You guys are getting pretty close. Two of you guys are in the ballpark. <laughs> Pun intended. Okay, round two closed. Oop, another good tile. Round three open. Open for business on round three. Still very close. You guys are in the vicinity. No winners yet. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's round three closed. Give you a few more tiles here. It's actually pretty good so far. Oop, that's a big tile stop it right there I'll tell you that one of you guys got the year already and the brand there you go we have a winner ding 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 we have a winner and his name is Chad D. Congrats, buddy. Winner of giveaway number one on the night. So that means you get to pick any pack of your choice. And I think we have OK, do I have all of them here? 
Yes, I think I do have all of them here. Okay, so, very good guess, Chad. Most impressive kind, sir. Can I take your jacket? Fidelio. Fidelio is the password for the door. But what, may I ask you, is the password for the house? The password for the house. Such a great movie. I went and saw that on my by myself in high school. I had no ride home from the movie theater. I just had my buddy drop me off after basketball practice. And he was like, how are you going to get home? And I was like, I'll figure it out. And I just happened to f see some people there that I knew. Fidelio. All right, so you let me know which one of those you'd like, Chad. And we will get to ripping it for you, buddy. So let's see, what did he pick? TSC Baseball, beautiful. Excited to rip into Bowman Chrome, guys. We filled that up, I think, in record time. Posted that earlier today. So things are starting to move fast. I like it. All right, good luck, Chad. Bowman Chrome looks like it's hot. got Delino, not to be confused with Delilah. <laughs> My uh, favorite radio show in the 90s. No, I'm just kidding. I think she's still on. She sounds exactly the same. We've got the big unit right there. Telling the man upstairs not to send any more birds his way. That could be actually a fun game. Uh, quote, quote, make quotes from movies and see who guesses it right. I guess it would be easy to Google though. All right, so... We did get Mark Grace and a nice Randy Johnson for you, Ryan. Or Chad, excuse me. A couple of nice cards there. Mark Grace is kind of underrated. All right, I think we are ready to get random, you guys. It's so random. Seriously, I don't know how I ended up with these teams. It's like so random. All right, select number five. Select number five. Okay, let's do our quick check.
This next one we got coming up, folks, is going to blow your minds. All right, so last one in. I should see Jose with two spots at the top. And at the bottom, I should see Jose with one spot at the bottom. So looks good. Ooh, I love onion rings, man. You know, I haven't had the Bloomin' Onion from Outback Steakhouse in a long, long time. I think we're way overdue for the Bloomin' Onion in my life. That's definitely something that I feel like you have to be there to eat it, right? Okay, give me a thumbs up that you guys can see the screen. El Centro, East, West, El Centro, East, West. Okay, good. Give me a quick thumbs up or redo da. All right, Jose says thumbs up. Here we go, three times, like we always do. Three, just making sure we have three, six here. Yep, okay, one, two, and three. Three, good. Okay, let's go over here. And now our divisions. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three. There we go. Let's get this in a shareable sheet for you. And here comes the link. All right, there's the link, guys. And you are on the clock for two minutes. Four trades. Trade clock is on. Trade clock is on. I'm just going to get the rest of the Bowman Chrome break ready while the hourglass is running. Chronicles, yes, we are. I saw that it shipped today, actually. I just got a notification that it has shipped. So that should be here. I'm guessing it'll come by Monday. Trade window is almost closed, guys. All right, trade window is closed. Do we have any trades? Let's check here.
trades. Okay. Yeah, the last I agree, Chad. The la I've been, I enjoyed the last uh, year of Chronicles a lot, so I'm re I'm really looking forward to it. I can't remember how many we got, but we got a few. All right, looks like no trades, right, guys? No trades. Give me a thumbs up about the no trades, and I'm going to rip into this, guys. Exciting! Prism number five. Coming up. Yeah, I want to say we've got like four of them or something. But I think... Um, We've been a little bit faster lately about getting the breaks up as soon as the products come in. So if it comes in by Monday, we'll have it up by Tuesday. And we're going to have our auction night on Monday. And we might do a pre-scheduled break in the middle of the week, depending on if that comes in or not by Monday. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. What's up, Event Horizon? I think... What did I say? What did we say earlier? I think uh, fo football is pretty close, right? Let me just do a refresh. Yeah, Luminance Football has got eight spots left, Event Horizon. We just filled Thrillmatic, Bowman Chrome. The other Bowman Chrome, which is called Thrill Top, I'm getting uh, kind of silly with my names. <laughs> uh, just wait, I got a bunch more uh, planned. You, they're, they're all kinds of little uh, double entendres. Anyhow, uh, Luminance, eight left. Top Stadium Club, Hobby, eight left. Uh, those are the closest. Of the next select, six left, and finest flashback, five left. Let's get that filled up, guys. If we get that filled up tonight, I will random off a fifteen dollar shop credit because we've been uh, we've been filling that one for a while, and it'd be good to get that one filled. So finest flashback, if you want to put your energy anywhere, that's where I would suggest it. Luminance is very close, DNA, very close. How did, what did everybody think about the uh, binder auction on Monday? Did everybody have a chance to, to check it out? If you didn't, make sure you tune in this Monday. I'll have the event on YouTube up over the weekend. It was I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it went a lot faster than I had planned. So I'm gonna do that was kind of a trial run the first time. But we're gonna do a bunch more this next uh, upcoming Monday. We'll have a bunch more of them planned. If you can't afford it, folks, don't buy it. But if you can, the biggest mistake you can make is only buying one of these. I was falling out of my chair when he said that, you guys. I was like, oh. Oh, heck no. I know he did not just say that. This man said he told you not to buy it. Dude is crazy, man. Okay, Jonathan Gray, Logan Allen. Our first hit is an Abraham Toro Relic Autograph. 
Abraham Toro, Relic Auto, numbered out of 49. 49. Very nice one for Jose. The bounty is Joe Burrow. Thank you, Chad. Please do hit that like button, guys. That helps a lot. Charlie Blackman, Gio Urshela, Tricolor. Cody Bellinger and Jeff McNeil. Population 35. Nice. We got Abraham Toro! Relic Auto, numbered out of 49. This is literally bonkers, folks. <laughs> Eloy Jimenez, tricolor. I like that one. Tricolor, Eloy. Spacer. Move this up just a tad. Not that much. Yep, if you, uh, Event Horizon, if you log into your account and then just click the edit button in the top left, and that should take you right there. Oh, I know what's going on. I don't normally have these lights all the way up that's why that's why i'm feeling like a fish out of water here i knew something was different there we go oh yeah i hope this is an autograph and it's a relic i had a feeling it would be a relic Mookie Betts, still on the Red Sox here. Nice Mookie Betts relic right there. Christian Yelich, red. I like that one. Numbered out of 199. Wow. That's beautiful. Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich, red, goes to Lee. Gorgeous. One nine nine. What's up, Spicy Bear? Long time no see. Oh. There we go. We got Lou Bob on the back there. Edwin Rios. Edwin Rios relic. Beautiful. Mike Trout. Moonshots. Two great cards. Back to back. And the Lou Bob. The Bobinator. Beautiful Lou Bob for Jose. Congrats, buddy.
Lou Bob's got charisma, guys. He's got that like Michael Jordan type charisma. He's been very beneficial to the hobby. Hopefully it keeps going. Kyle Hendricks, Willie Adames, Clayton Kershaw, Silver Prism. Real Muto and Sean Murphy. Which one, Joseph? Jonathan Hernandez, Shane Bieber. It gets tricky with the with the prisms, uh, Joseph, because there's so many different prisms. You, um, Wilson Contreras and Jake Rogers. Which one did you see? Was it a Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. This card just sold in a private auction, folks, for $5,000. We got Kenny on the line. Nico Horner. <laughs> you had me fooled. Lime Green, numbered out of 99, Brad Keller. AJ Puck. A rookie card. We're going to do something so crazy, so unbelievably limited. You're not going to believe it, folks. If you're calling and the lines are jammed, folks, just keep calling. You know, I remember how he would be like, he would always say, this is the last time we're going to do this. And then like 30 minutes later, he'd have like another one. <laughs> this is the last time we're going to do this, folks. Not doing it again. We only had five of these and I bought the other four myself. Marcus Stroman, Tricolor, Mike Trout, another Mike Trout Moonshots. This deal is so crazy that Kenny had to get off the line. He just paged me and said he can't breathe, folks. Noah Syndergaard. Silver Noah Syndergaard. Oh, yeah, we got some cracked ice action. Michael Conforto, cracked ice. Number 25, the cracked ice is. 25. Nice cracked ice for you right there, Jose. Wish it was a Lou Bob cracked ice. Now, how sick would that be? I don't think we've pulled that yet. But it's out there. We have more select boxes to try to find that. That's like, that would be like a grail card. I wonder how much that goes for. That probably goes for crazy money. <laughs> We're talking Santa, Santa Beanie Babies, folks. These things just don't show up anywhere. But somehow, some way, we got them, folks. Akiyama. Marcel Azuna. Bam! That's a good one. Marcel Azuna. Autograph Relic. Autograph Relic. Another one for Jose. 
Beautiful. Austin Meadows and Garrett Cole rounds things out, guys. Love me some select. All of the investors, it seems like, are... They're really all in on select. That's like the premier brand right now to invest in. If you're buying... If you're trying to, you know, build up a... A position, as they say. <laughs> Make it sound like it's so fancy. It's like, yes, uh, I'm, I'm increasing my position in uh, uh, Lewis Rubber, and I'm uh, dollar cost averaging. I just say you bought the card, man. So you bought more, and that's what you mean. Yes, uh, I prefer to refer to it as uh, dollar cost averaging. But uh, anyway, they... Uh, that's like the premier brand right now, and lots of people are like buying up base cards from the previous of, you know, this is more in basketball that people are doing this, but buying up base cards and sending them in to get graded. So, Select is the preferred brand right now for collectors. Can you guys tell the, the color? It's very, very subtle, but there's a colored light back there. Not behind the camera, but like in the back of the room. I don't even think I can notice. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a quick restroom break. I'm gonna run the old school giveaway here. Where are we at? Old school giveaway like we used to do. So don't go anywhere because when I come back from my little break, we are going to declare a winner and get in on the giveaway like you, like you normally do, guys, with the exclamation mark prize. Luminance. Let's check. Luminance. What's, what's up, Jay? Good to see you, buddy. So before I run, check the luminance for J. Bring the Zamboni on through. The Zamboni wanna find out where the bubbles was coming from. So he did into the bottom of the ocean. Into the cave from which they came. <laughs> silliness. Just pure silliness here, folks. Oh no, he's doing that voice again. He thinks he's Jim Gaffigan. So, did I, did I answer the question? I think I got off track there. Uh, seven, four. Four spots left. Four spots left. We only got four spots left in Luminance, folks. If this thing fills, we're going to rip it tonight. It's going to be absolutely bonkers, folks. Absolutely bonkers. All right. I'll be right back. Two minutes, guys. Get in on the giveaway. Don't change that channel because Mr. Don West is in full effect. And we'll be right back.
We are back. We're back, folks! Let's declare this winner. Looks like everybody is in here. If you're not in the giveaway yet, just type exclamation mark prize, guys. What's up, Kyle? Good to see you, buddy. Kyle J up in the house. Robert V. Tim K. I don't think I said what's up, Tim. How you doing, buddy? Robert V, Tim K, and Kyle J have joined. And Jeremy C as well. What's up, my friend? Cardboard Farmer's up in the house, too. What's up, Cardboard Farmer? You don't have to be lonely at CardboardFarmers.com. Just acting silly tonight, guys. <laughs> Don West called. PS867491, folks. This is the last time we're doing this. I know I said that 324 other times. Consuela. What's up, Consuela? Isaac V. Get up in that giveaway, guys. Exclamation mark prize. BR549, folks. We got a mixed lot. Santa Claus Beanie Baby. Santa Claus Pro Set, folks. We got Santa Claus Rookie Card. This is before he had a beard, folks. You're not going to believe it. Santa Claus, when he, was in, when he was in the minor leagues, folks, he did not have a beard. <laughs> oh yeah all right we got 30 people in the giveaway guys we're gonna close out the entries this is giveaway number two on the night Good luck to everyone. And the winner is... Jeremy C. We got a winner, folks! Alright, Jeremy, you get to pick... Any pack of your choice, any of the packs on the screen currently. <laughs> I actually was working on a little stand up routine last summer and uh, never got the courage to actually try it, but I have like two full notebooks of jokes. And it, I remember when I got into this, I was like, oh, well. Maybe we can tell our jokes this way. So one of these days I'll break out the, the notebook and take the PG ones out of them and we'll do a little, little stand-up on the live show. There are not jokes. There will be now, though, because I have a, a lot more perspective on that. But there we could definitely... Oh, man, we could go on about... Uh, baseball card jokes. That was probably some good stuff. NBA. Okay, cool. So I think we've got two NBA choices. We got these two. I did tell that brunch brunch joke to uh, a small crowd, and that one went over pretty pretty well. The one with the the brunch girl. But it takes a lot of courage, man, to, to like, I, I give props to anybody who it's, it's a huge scene out here in Colorado too. Like I used to go to the open mics and they would be on for like four hours. They have a huge list of people doing open mics. 
So it's it's always been something that that's been on my bucket list. So I'll do it. I'll do it eventually. But it takes it takes a I think a long time to to like turn your material into something funny. That's what that's what everybody says. They're like it's all in your delivery and your timing and everything. It's very little of it. I guess has to do with your actual jokes. I don't know. Who knows. I'm just here for the cards, you guys. I just like to rip. Oh, I bet. Oh, man. I have no musical talents whatsoever. It is sad. All right, Jeremy. Good luck, buddy. I'm I'm amazed at how people even remember a whole song. You see people like playing a piano for, you know, like five six hours at a time, and this is like mind boggling. That's right. We got an Aaron Williams bass card. We got a Baby Jordan right there with Gary Payton in the background, folks. We got Stretch Pay. This guy looks this looks like it's a like a different photograph. <laughs> yes, they did call Harold Miner Baby Jordan. The faces of the game. Mark Price, Carl Malone, Brian Grant, rookie card. Is that Oliver Miller? No, that's Wesley Person. There's my boy, Nick Van Axel. Nick Van Axel. Really, really good player. Was a ton of fun to watch. He was an assassin in the playoffs. So a nice Nick Van Axel right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, oh, Harold, you nasty, man. You nasty. Oh, yeah, Nick Van Axel is one of the few jerseys that I had as a kid. I love the purple Lakers jerseys. That was my jam pie. Jam pie. Say what? Thank you, Hollis. I appreciate that. It's I, I've always wanted to do it. I've just been I, to be just straight up honest with you guys. I'm scared. Like I'm scared. That's just there's no other way to put it. If I if I came up with any other excuse, I'd be lying to you guys. But I tell you what, when you go to those open mics and you watch other people doing it, it definitely like it, it definitely removes a little bit of the fear cuz it's just everybody is bombing. Like every single person is just bomb 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 one after the next. Like for f over 4 hours, you maybe hear like I don't know, like five laughs the whole time. At least that's how it is here. I don't know. It could be different everywhere, but there is an enormous amount of people. I, I I'm sure now it's like totally dead, but this is pre-COVID stuff. All right, guys, we're ready for prism number nine. Let's check the personal cue here. Prism number nine. Yep. 2051 was the last personal for Derek, which we did on Monday. All right, so prism number nine. Let's do our little checkeries here. So first one, or excuse me, last one in 
I should see is Franco. Franco with two spots at the top. Yep, I see those two here. And the first one in should be, Jose should be at the bottom twice. And he is, okay. We're good. Good to go. So prism number nine is up right now, guys. And then we've got Frillmatic up next, which is Bowman Chrome. Our first Bowman Chrome, which I think it just was released last Friday. So let's get to randomizing this. Give me a thumbs up, anybody, so I know you can see the screen here. 30, yep. Yes, thank you, Chad. I appreciate that, buddy. That is correct, guys. $15 shop credit, random off, if you fill it tonight. Only four spots left. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. Okay, so we should have two Jose's at the bottom and two Franco's at the top. Yes. Got our thumbs up. One, two, three. Luminance is filled as well. Thank you guys for everybody who got into Luminance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now for the teams. Nationals and Diamondbacks. One, two, three. There we go. Hollis, you got the White Sox, buddy. You got them. Sort this by team, make sure Hollis still has the White Sox. All right, everything's the same here. And here comes the link, guys. All right. There's the link. And you were on the clock for two minutes. We might change it to three minutes next time. Do I have a three minute? Yeah, I do. We'll experiment with three minutes next time. Can you guys see the timer? There you go. All right, so this is prism number nine. Up next after this is Thrillmatic Bowman Chrome. Gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get, finish getting that ready while you guys talk trades. And then Luminance after that. Okay, so it looks like you got about one minute left. <laughs> 20 seconds or so left.
All right, that is the window closing on us. We got an incredible deal coming up, folks. All right, do we have any trades, guys? Everybody got the link to the spots, I hope. Prism number nine, yep. <laughs> Current bounty is Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is the current bounty. So we got a chance at pulling Joe Burrow in our luminance mixer for sure. All right, guys, stop me if I missed any trades, but I'm, look, I believe that there weren't any. Okay, prism. One of my favorites. I think select is probably number one for me right now. The cards are just too beautiful. Yeah, Joe Burrow looked legit. I think Joe Burrow is further along and then than Tua. All right, good luck, guys. Just to a quick review, Hollis got the White Sox. Franco's got the Padres. This is just a few highlights, of course. Not everything. Who got my Braves? Brandon B's got my Braves. Yeah, I know the, the, the logo thing doesn't bother me really at all. But... We haven't opened Finest Flashbacks yet. Now, there's a there's probably a good chance that once we open that, that's gonna be become my new favorite. This box has got three three autographs, three autographs, fifteen prisms including three silver prisms. So it's always a lot of fun. <laughs> John, John is crushing it tonight, guys. I love it. Kenny on the line. Kenny, we got a special deal for you tonight. If you guys buy three of these, Kenny's gonna babysit your kids from the line. Labor. Our first prism is a Dustin May. That's a good one. Dustin May silver prism. Brock Burke red prism. JJ Blade. Acuna. Gavin Lux rookie card. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, it's totally true. I know, like, if you'd never heard Don West before, you'd be like, no way, no way did he say that. It's all straight out of his mouth. Just like Hollis said, Nico Horner. The only reason we're selling these folks because we physically do not have room. We'd have to be honestly bonkers if we had any room, folks. Danny Duffy, 
This is a neon orange Danny Duffy goes to Mike P. Danny Duffy numbered out of 100. That Benjamin numbering. Jake Fraley. Buzz Tuve, Charlie Blackman. Travis Demert, rookie. Don't Cease, rookie. <laughs> we got some vintage cards tonight, folks. I sourced them with my bare hands. You're not going to believe what I had to do to get these, folks. I literally crawled into my mom's crawl space in her double wide trailer, folks. Juan Soto, Silver Prism, Fireworks. Love it. That goes to Aaron C. We only got 6,279 of these left, folks. Get on the line. Tyrone Taylor, Blue. Anthony Rendon, Scorching. That's a good one, Joe. <laughs> That's funny. I'm I'm just gonna <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. I'm just gonna keep quiet on what else I found in that crawl space, folks. Logan Webb, Red Mojo, numbered out of one, four, nine, to Franco. And a Michael Baez autograph. Michael Baez autograph for Franco as well. Congrats, Franco. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun, Event Horizon. I am glad you are enjoying yourself, buddy. Dustin May. Aristides Aquino, rookie card. That's a nice one. For Jamie. Yeah, I think for us, a big part of Thrill Pack is hanging out and having fun and talking about cards learning together that's what it's really all about in my opinion judgment free environment tony gonzlin silver prism he's got that um what's the guy that smashed the watermelons he's got that kind of haircut going on at least the back of his hair tony gonzlin for Jose Gallagher, thank you. Dan Vogelbach, red. Mauricio Dubon, Lee Castro. <laughs> you guys are coming up with some good Don West lines. We got to find that guy and get him on here. Keston here. How crazy would it be if I was able to get him on like a live stream? Oh, wow. We have not seen this before, guys. Let's take a little moment of silence for Otani. Chad's going to love this one. Let's just pick it up carefully. Oh, wow. We got another one we haven't seen, too. Look at that, Chad. Lime green Otani. Illumination, numbered out of 125 for Jeff W. Congrats on that one. We, we have opened a lot of Prism, guys, and we have not seen this even once. Tony Gonzalez, Rookie of the Year, good question. 
125. Wow, that is fire. Beautiful card. Makes me want to eat some key lime pie. Brilliance. Garrett Cole, we haven't seen this one either. Garrett Cole Blue Prism looks awesome. Uh, the blue looks awesome on the Brilliance canvas. Yeah, so uh, I'm dollar cost averaging my uh, position in uh, Lewis Roberts. Uh, I have a submission in progress. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should use a card saver one or a card saver two. So I've invented my own card saver and I'm calling it card saver one and a half. Bruh. Bruh. Aaron Judge. Adrian Morhone. Moron. I'm sure it's not pronounced Moron. Morhan. Is it Morhan? Autograph. Adrian Morhan. Rookie card. Blue Prism. And so I guess I thought all blue prisms were not numbered, but I think it was Ryan or Chad was telling me that this, the autographs come in variations. So this one is numbered out of 99. Better than what I was calling a Domingo, right? All right, it's probably more Marone. Marone. Adrian Marone. Right? That's a nice one. Adrian Marone to Franco. Franco's having a good good night here with this break. Morahon. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, I forgot the E. The E is silent. Jesus Lazardo, rookie card. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking for a long, long while that, you know how they have different types of packaging, hobby, jumbo, blaster, hanger. Mark my words, I bet you in a year, less than a year from now, they're going to literally come out with a packaging type made for breakers where they have like an equal number of cards from each team. I'm surprised they haven't done it already because literally, I, I think that the biggest part of the market right now is what we're doing. You know, ripping, ripping packs and group breaks. Jose Barrios numbered out of 125 lime green goes to Mike P. All rookie cards are considered hits. Anything, Kyle, uh, the only thing that's not considered a hit is a veteran base card. Brendan McKay, red. And if you have hits plus collector's profile selected, you know how when you check out there's three options, then whatever you have in your collector's profile is also shippable. Ship it! Bryce Harper, instant impact. Let me know if that answers your question, buddy. Yep, I agree, Joseph. Walker Bueller, Jordan Yamamoto. The card companies, believe it or not, I really don't think that they understand their own market. I don't think that they understand that what we're doing is the highest growth segment of the market because they're still catering to like the old... The old ways of doing things, which I, I, I respect loyalty and everything, but you got to be aware of what's happening in your market. Marcelo Zuna, Silver Prism. So you can dollar cost average your way down. <laughs> Kyle Hendricks, Blue. 
We got stretch pay. Should we turn on stretch pay? I think we're, we have to wait on a wait list. I don't know why, but I got an email once and it was like, you can now offer, it's not called stretch pay. It's called like flex pay. And I was like, oh man, that would be hilarious if I could actually say that like Don West and it actually be a real thing. Juan Soto, Bryce Harper. Looks like we got a blue mojo right here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Joseph. Yadier Molina. Numbered out of 175. To Brandon B. Blue Mojo. One thing I love about... I mean, there's many things I love about Prism, but they are loaded with hits. Adbert Alzale. Rookie, uh, rookie card autograph. I don't think we've seen his auto yet. It's a, a base card on the Cubbies. So that goes to Robert V. Congrats, Robert V, on the Alzale auto. That mojo working. There's a Wanda Franco. Fernando Tatis. Yeah, I wonder when the... I guess Tops must have made an exclusive deal for the rights. I wonder when that deal runs out. It's going to be a bidding war next time. Like, remember when NFL Ticket was up for auction? DirecTV was paying billions of dollars for it. I feel like it's going to be like one of those kind of things. I, I think it's more valuable and way more valuable in basketball, but... Julio Tehran, I don't know why they, they must have paid a lot to have exclusive rights. Julio Tehran, red. But yeah, I wonder when that runs out. It's, it's not a forever thing, it's just based on the contract. Oh, there you go, John knows. 2024, that's, that's, that's sooner than I thought, actually. Panini has mantle rights. That's right. Panini has NBA and NFL. So, and I guess Upper Deck is only hockey now. Upper Deck's pretty much just out of the game. We got a Walker Bueller Power Plaid. That's a good one. I am a fan of Walker Bueller personally. Numbered out of 75. Bueller. To Jose. Jose's on fire tonight, guys. Another numbered card for you, Jose. This one is Power Plaid. Numbered out of 75. A gorgeous specimen. Trevor Bauer, Blue, Aaron Judge, Stargazing, Tariq Skubal, Warming the Pen, Starling Castro, and the last card is our boy, Aloy Jimenez. Yeah, I think it would be cool if they didn't make an exclusive deal. They probably, there's probably a reason for it. Probably just got paid more with an exclusive deal, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm not an expert in the licensing field. It gets pretty complicated. Alright, so congrats to everybody in that break. My favorite card was probably... Probably the... Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say Bueller, but I f nearly forgot about the Otani. It was definitely the Otani. Lime green. That thing was pretty. 
All right, we are on to Bowman Chrome, boys. Bowman Chrome. So let me go grab those boxes and get ready for that. So this is Thrillmatic is what's up next here. Thrillmatic is two Bowman Chrome minis. So that's a full Bowman Chrome hobby box. Bowman Mega and two Chrome Value Packs. You can do three minutes on the trade this time. Okay, let's check our work here, guys. Three spots left in Finest Flashback, says John, guys. $15. Rand went off if we fill it tonight. Okay, so Thrillmatic. I should see Richard at the top with five spots at the top. Five, yep, looks good. And then first one in, I should see Rupert with one spot at the bottom. Yep, Rupert's at the bottom. So we are good good to go all right give me a thumbs up that you guys can see this and i will get it randomizing let me get caught up on the chat so the shipping cycle we go on a two-week shipping cycle mason so all the rip everything that ripped from the first to the 15th goes out on or before 9.30, September 30th. I believe prism number seven was in that period. Let me just check, double check. I believe prism number seven was ripped on September 7th. So it's in the current fulfillment period, which goes out on or before the, the 30th. So everything from the 1st to the 15th goes out on the 30th. Everything from the 15th to the 30th goes out on the 15th. Let me know if that answers your question.
All right, here we go, guys. Let's, um, we got a thumbs up from Richard. So we're gonna start randomizing here. Let's try to keep the, the, it's all good, don't worry, but let's try to keep the language family friendly, guys. Family friendly channel here. We got kids watching sometimes. So let's keep it PG language wise, please. We've got, so we should have one Rupert at the bottom and we should have five Richards at the top. One, two, three, four, five. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry, man. Rupert and five Richards at the bottom. Okay. Let's just double check that we have 30. All right, we're all good. Ready to randomize. One, two, three. And I do have an accounting degree for the record. <laughs> So you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's pretty ironic that you said that. All right. Time for the teams. Yep. Our lovely moderators catch it. That's why you don't see it. That is why. Or that sometimes it gets caught automatically too. Diamondbacks, Nationals, one, two, three, and there we go. Let's see who ended up with the White Sox. Ben L with the White Sox. Let's throw this in the shareable sheet. And sort it by team. Ben L with the White Sox still. Beautiful. All right, this is coming your way, guys. Here comes the link. Okay, there you go. So, three minutes this time. Three minutes. And I'm going to get the next break ready in the meantime. All right, so got about three minutes to talk any trades, guys. And don't worry if I get quiet here. I'm just getting the next one ready for you guys. I almost got this fully automated. I'm like 80% there. After this, Jeremy is Luminance, Luminance Football Mixer. Luminance, it's going to be our first time opening Luminance. So I am excited. And our first time opening Bowman Chrome. So a lot of firsts here this evening. A lot of firsts. Looks like you got about one and a half minutes left on the timer. Only five spots left in the uh, Stadium Club Hobby Mixer as well. Time is running out on the trades. Pro probably about another 30 seconds or so.
Okay, that is it. Time is up. Time is up. Yes, that would be awesome if you can stick around. It'll be fun to watch no matter what. Because this is our first time looking at Bowman Chrome. And it's also going to be our first time looking at Luminance as well. All right, so what's the verdict, guys? Did we have any trades? Any trades? Let me refresh the personals. Okay, we're all good there. All systems go, folks. Yes, I agree. I love this jersey. He's got a couple of cards where he's in that jersey. That actually makes a difference to me. Even in basketball cards, I, I like paying attention to what shoes they're wearing, too. All right, let me just get caught up on the chat before we rip this, guys. <laughs> I'll throw in two 1987 factory sets. If you want to do the Don West impersonation, the uh, first step is just don't breathe. <laughs> Okay, looks like we got no trades, right? Ryan says no trades. I got a 94-piece Beanie Baby Jumbo Set SF8084. <laughs> you guys are on. You guys are on fire with the with the Don West dialogue. I love it. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get into Thrillmatic. Thrillmatic. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Oh, it totally is. We, we used to watch it all night long and just laugh and laugh and laugh. So we'll do one, let's do one Bowman and Chrome box up front and we'll save the other one for last. I am eagerly anticipating seeing what these look like. Yep, super late at night, super late at night. Snailzilla. Yamamoto, oh man, these are very, very gorgeous looking. Wow, I'm impressed already. Spencer Howard, Arizona Fall League. These are fresh guys. Just stay in the top right. Hobby only products. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes, it's very chromey. Tony Gonzalez rookie card. Riley Green, another awesome Detroit Tigers prospect. This water is very watery. This chrome is very chromey. 
Oh, we got an autograph already. There's one autograph in each mini box. So this is our autograph. It's a Yankee. That's always a good sign. And it goes to Richard. Congratulations, Richard, on the Oswald Peraza rookie card. Hopefully he turns out to be a big time prospect. This is a Bowman Chrome prospect card. Beautiful. Jesus Sanchez. First Bowman Auto. That's it. That's what I need is some Yankees autos in my life, yo. I love seeing the Bronx Bombers ink, you know what I mean? Especially when I have some nice fresh plantanos. There we go. There's Lou Bob, the Bobinator. Lou Bob prospect card goes to Ben L. He's in jail? That's not good. Congrats, Ben, on the Lou Bob. Bounty right now is Mr. Joe Burrow. Ooh, that's a cool card. That is fancy. Look at that. Going down in the dawn of glory. Wow, that was a cool one. You guys will have to school me on the player. <clears throat> Can't say I'm a connoisseur of Cardenas. Take another look at the Lou Bob. I might have to admit that I have a small man crush on Lou Bob. And we got some color, guys, as I turn my head to the right. We got some color, boys. Color is in the house. So, let's just look. Purple. One out of 46, so that's pretty good. One out of 46 goes to Ryan. Royce Lewis to Ryan. Jay says he can't wait to see Royce Lewis in the league. So sounds like Jay is familiar with Royce Lewis. That's good to hear. Always love seeing color. So that's a good pull, guys, because 1 in 46, right? Well, there's only six packs in here, right? Five five packs so wow that is an amazing pull actually so there's like a two percent chance of pulling those out of any random pack so you need to open actually a little bit um less than two percent like 1.8 so that's a big pull ryan all right I, i'm loving bowman chrome guys what do you guys think so far i'm loving it this is like slightly, slightly thicker than the normal cardstock. Let me get that protected right away for you, Ryan. Just got new top loaders in today. Actually, I, I should say I opened the box today. They were s sitting outside for a little while. But we've now got... We, pretty, we had a little bit of every single size. But now we are loaded up uh, for a little while because there's shortages. And I didn't want to... I didn't want to run out while I was doing sh fulfillment. So I loaded up on all the sizes. We got 59, 79, 108, 138, 197. Oh, yeah. We're not messing around here, guys. 
He was number one overall pick. Woo, baby. You can check it out uh, online, Mason. I think it's like... What is it lately? It changed. It, the price has changed pretty fast, but I want to say it's like two forty. Let me check. Two two twenty five. Two twenty five. So it, it it varies depending on where you look. I've seen. I've seen all the way up to 260. Anyhow. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, no, no. I'm doing the right thing. I thought I would open the, the other bone in Chrome. I'm so excited for the purple. I forgot what was going on. All right. No, we're, we're on track here. I did not know that, Jay. Number one overall pick, Ryan. Of how many rounds do they have in baseball? <laughs> like 20 or something? It's crazy how deep their draft is. All right, let's power rip. Power rip the chrome. Okay, got Javi Baez, Tanaka, Marcus Simeon, Buster Posey, Hilliard, Alex Young. Alex Young is a Prism Refractor. Vladdy, Vladdy, uh, Refractor 85 style. Now for the pink parallel refractors. Three spots left, guys. Thank you, John. I appreciate that, my friend. John's holding it down. Dustin May, there you go. And Tamale Kitchen closes at 9 tonight. I really wanted some barbacoa. Aloy. And Mr. Mikolas. If you want to go full Greek on the pronunciation. That is helpful. Very, very helpful, John. I really do appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> nice. That works. I'll take a yesterdog while you're making hot dogs. We're Chicago dog. Their buns have sesame seeds. Our buns have no seeds. Yep, I love the 85 style designs. Okay, Nico Horner rookie card. It's a good one. Riz Hoskins, Dylan Cease, Freshman Flash. I love the Freshman Flash card. Justin Dunn, I thought that was Kyle Lewis for a minute. Brendan McKay, 85. Vladdy, Cup card. Carter Keyboom and Sam Hilliard, Refractor. Now for the pinks. J.D. Martinez, Carlos Santana, and Marcus Simeon. OK. 
Okay, Bowman Mega is up next. Bowman Mega Box. Oh man, I heard, I've never been to Kansas City, but I heard they have the best barbecue. From many, many people have heard that. You gotta get down there for some food. Making me hungry, guys. Tamale Kitchen needs to stay open later than nine. Yeah, they're closed. Oh well. I do have Jersey Mike's in the fridge, though. <laughs> Shane Bieber Shane Bieber's crushing it this year guys Wanda Franco nice Wanda Franco for Caleb G Glaber Oh man, what are the two um, Philly cheesesteak places in Philly that are right across the street from one another? I haven't had those in a long time. Zach Collins, I agree. There's nothing like that. Dustin May. Yeah, there you go. Pats and Genos. Joey Votto. And now we are on to our Chrome Mojo cards. There's got there's like some underground places too, right? I've never like I didn't ever explore enough there. Cuz those are the those are the two most famous places, right? I'm guessing that there's some like super O I mean, I guess those are the two OGs, but I was going to say I'm guessing there's like some more under the radar ones. I went to a really good hot dog place in Philly the last time I was there, and I totally forgot the name of it. It was like gour gourmet, gourmet, just fancy hot dogs, different like, you know, themes like a Thai style hot dog. Nico Horner, rookie of the year favorites, loving it. Nice one for Richard Riley Green. Okay, we are on to the last Bowman mini box. 
after this break. Up here, it's all about the deep fried dogs. I have never had that. Rippers. That sounds good. Ooh, man. That sounds really good. Yeah, this jersey is awesome. I wonder if Ben Baller did the chain. Okay. More Bowman Chrome, man. We're starting things off right with the Jordan Alvarez. For Richard. Congrats, Richard. Otani, Brandon Marsh, Fall League. Those are beautiful cards. Full refractor on those. AJ Puck, rookie card. Christian Pache. Weighted on base average stat tracker insert card. Let's pull some more color, guys. There is a numbered card, it looks like a chrome refractor, and it is Luis Garcia. Oh, look, we got a sepia card behind that, too. Oh man, I've never seen those. Yeah, Bowman Chrome Refractor, Luis Garcia, numbered out of four ninety nine. Beautiful card goes to Daniel J. And I have not seen this before. Farm to fame, like a sepia color. Farm to fame, sepia style refractor. I don't know what the proper name of it is. <clears throat> But that's a cool one. First time seeing this one. And that also goes to Daniel J. So both of those go to Daniel J. Congrats, buddy. And a Wanda Franco. Bowman Chrome. One of the most highly touted prospects out there right now, Wander Franco. Wander Franco for Caleb, Caleb G. Keston Hira. There's our autograph. Our autograph is Bryant Packard from the Tigers on card autograph. Bryant Packard, congratulations, Ryan. You got two hits. Well, you got that um, Royce Lewis, and you got this one as well. Pete Alonzo, Strasburg, Cabello, another Yankees prospect. They just got them coming out of their ears, it seems like. And Tristan McKenzie. Yadier Molina, Garrett Cole. Oh, yeah. We've got some color and refractor going on here. I think it's Purple Wave. Purple Wave. Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson goes to Chad D. 
I thought it was numbered for a second, but I don't see a number. I think it's purple wave. Beautiful. All right, guys, that does it for Thrillmatic. Now we are ready for some luminance after I take a quick break. <clears throat> luminance coming up, guys. Don't go anywhere because we're going to give away a pack when we come back. Giving away a pack to the pack when we come back. We can lay by the bay, eat some hay. I just may. What do you say? Okay. Let's get that started before I step away. Shimmer. Yes, that sounds right, Ben. Purple shimmer. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all. Shimmy, y'all. Shimmy, yay. Give me the mic and I'll take it away. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Don't change that channel because we're coming back with a giveaway pack. Be right back, guys.
All right, my dudes, we are back. Ready to do this giveaway and then rip some luminance. Luminance is in our future. So we've got, looks like almost everybody is in the giveaway here. Vince, Casey, Ben, John, John, Brian, exclamation mark prize if you haven't gotten in already. <clears throat> okay, that that's that's fine, Derek. Do me a favor, Derek. Just send me an email as well. Because that's what I use. I use the emails as a sort of a to-do list uh, to make sure that I catch all of those. So just uh, send me an email when you PayPal me and say uh, the same thing you just said here. The order number, the thrill number, and what you want to change and all that good stuff. Happy Gilmore is definitely one of my favorite movies. Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison, I've watched those many many times put it this way at my open house when i graduated high school i had happy gilmore and billy madison playing over and over again love those movies all right closing out the entries here guys this is giveaway number three on the night good luck everybody and the winner is Derek. There you go, Derek. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> water boy came out on your birthday yeah my uh my friend aaron that's no longer with us me and him went and and saw that that one and uh happy gilmore at the movie theater i'll never forget that that's like one of those memories that's just burned in there for good one of those good memories all right while you're picking that i'm gonna Get the teams ready here for the foosball. We got 32 foosball teams. And 32 breakers. And we are good to go on luminance now. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got 94 basketball, Top Stadium Club basketball. We've got a Skybox basketball that I believe is uh, Dream Team number two. We've got 96 uh, Top Stadium Club baseball. 93 Fleer Baseball, 90 score, possible Frank Thomas rookie card in here. Uh, 92 Top Stadium Club, and 89 Pro Set. We also have 89 Don Russ that you can. Do I have that? Let me check. Or I got another one for you that's interesting. There it 
89 Donruss. <laughs> oh yeah, those are those are classics, Ryan. I love those movies. We we literally just used to watch those two movies over and over. At one point I had the whole all the dialogue from Billy Madison memorized from the very very beginning. My girlfriend in high school was a big fan of those movies as well, so that, that helped because we would just hang out in her basement and just watch it over and over again. It's too hot for a penguin to be just walking around. Top Stadium Club is good. Regular tops is better. <laughs> okay, here we go, Derek. Trevor Hoffman, Curtis Goodwin. We got a Robbie Ventura here. Robbie Ventura, Team TSC, David Bell, Ozzy Guillen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a Derek Jeter rookie card, I think. That's the best base card you can get, man. I just bought this, yes, like two days ago. And a PSA 9. That's a big card right there. 96. Like his true rookie card is 93, but then he has a bunch of 97 cards that are considered rookie cards. I don't know why. I never understood that. So I guess this is considered a rookie card too. That's a big one, man. All of his cards are going to go up, I think. They're way undervalued, in my opinion, when he gets inducted. That is a nice one. <laughs> you want some of this milk? That milk belongs to that classroom right there. Oh, they don't have to know this milk could be our milk. No milk will ever be our milk. All right. A simple no would have been fine, but all right. Beautiful Derek Jeter. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. <laughs> yeah, that would be pricey. I would love to have a box of that. We did get, I'll show you one thing that I just got today. So you can see what's, some of what's in our future here. Oh yeah. Love me some 90s Fleer, boys. Hunting for some sweet insert cards. All about the 90s, man. I'm still living in the 90s. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Luminance time. Correct. You are... That is correct. We're ready to go. Let's just double check our work here. So, I should have the last one in should be Hakeem 
at the top. Good. Earlier tonight. And the first one in should be Ben. So that's what I see. Ben at the bottom. We're good. <laughs> Sideburns, you want some of this milk? I'd rather have a beer. I forgot that part. <laughs> yeah, I like all those cards from between 95 and and 99. We're loading up on those so we can do our vintage breaks in the baseball off season. We're going to be we're going to be going all out with the vintage breaks. Even before then, we're, I think we're going to have a night. When we step it up to three nights a week, we'll have a night where we do uh, vintage group breaks. All right, give me a thumbs up, guys, so I can just confirm that you can see the screen. I should have Ben on the bottom and Hakeem on the top. I should have 32. I got that. Okay. Thumbs up, and we'll get going, guys. <laughs> Mr. Mister, get me out of here. You know that Mr. Mister lady? I think I just killed her. One, two, three. That was before Ben Stiller like was even known. Like when he was in that movie, nobody really knew who he, Ben Stiller even was. Well, now your back's going to hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Okay. Let's see who ended up with the Bangels. Bangels! Check the stats. Ryan, you got the bangles, Ryan. Bangles. <laughs> yes. Oh, such a good movie. Bangles. Okay, guys. Three minutes on the clock. Oh, wait. Let me send you the link first before I start the timer. Hold on. Show. Let's go back to here. Yeah, Chris Farley was... A such a good dude, man. Sad that he left us so early. This is going to be the last break on the night, I believe. John says Stadium Club is three away from filling. Okay, so three minutes on the clock. You guys got the link. Talk about any trades while I go grab the product.
so Joe Burrow is very likely to be pulled. And he is the bounty. <clears throat> Joe Burrow is the bounty. So other breaks, three spots left in the stadium club. Mixer, three spots left in finest flashback. Those are the next two that are closest here. And tomorrow night, archives and the stadium club single hobby boxes rip. No matter what. And the unfilled spots if there are any, they're divided evenly for free. So if you're not in those already, make sure you get into those so you can claim your share of any unfilled spots. Yep, tomorrow night archives and the single top stadium club mixer. Okay, trade is closed. Trade window is closed. I don't think we had any trades, did we? Let's go with... We'll save the featured product for last. Let's go with, we'll do one Elite and then we'll do one Chronicles. And back to Elite and then back to Luminance. <clears throat> Sounds good. Thanks for hanging out with us, Joseph. I appreciate you, buddy. I will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with the pack, buddy. I'm glad you joined us. I am proud you joined us, Joseph. All right, Josh Jacobs, who's doing pretty well so far this year. I thought he had a big game last game. Travis Kelsey. So, Josh Jacobs, like, I'm pretty sure the Cowboys could have traded Ezekiel Elliott for him straight up. I would have done that in a second. There's Lamar. Then, like, you can go somewhere holding out with two years left on your contract. I've never heard of that before. Who who decides that they're not going to work with two years left on, on their contract? I don't get it. Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown. For Casey I. Adrian Peterson. Still in the game. Le'Veon Bell. Saw that he was hurt. These cards are pretty nice. They're All of them are refractors. This is the regular base card is a refractor. I like that. Kirk Cousins. Grant Del Pitt. Rookie card. Or Del P. Grant Del P. Ooh, there's a nice one. Lamar Jackson, Spellbound. Ooh, wow. Shiny pink foil action. For Casey. One of these days, Ryan, will have uh, pick your team. We just have to get to a certain 
size to make that feasible. But eventually, we'll have a pick your team break. Optic. The thrill top, right? 17 spots left on the thrill top. Three spots left in the stadium club mixer. Twenty four spots left in archives, guys. So right now, thirty spots are gonna get spread over six people. That means everybody gets um, four. As of right now, everybody would get four extra spots. So if you're not in archives, make sure you claim your spot because any unfilled spots are divided evenly for free. As it stands right now, it's like a four for a five for one situation. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf. That's a nice one. Oh, D DJ Moore. I thought that was D DK Metcalf for a second. DJ Moore is no slouch either. Oh, there's DK Metcalf. Yeah, I did see DK Metcalf. All right, I was looking over to the side for a minute. DK Metcalf, he's very, very popular on social media, which actually has a big impact on you. wouldn't think so, but the popularity of the player in general has a huge impact on their card prices. One of these days, I'll try to do a little analysis on how just how much flex pay <laughs> yeah, nice Hollis <laughs> Okay, Chronicles of Narnia. Casey wants a J.K. Dobbins auto. Likely, that is correct, John. Very likely to see a burrow in Chronicles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the Chronic, what calls of Narnia? Okay, we got a Herbert rookie card. Henry Ruggs, who's hurt. A lot of NFL players are hurt. It's kind of sad. I think it has to do with not having a full offseason. Makes you more injury prone. We physically do not have room, folks. Deshaun Vaughn. Michael Perrine. Van Jefferson. That's a nice one, Van Jefferson. New quarterback, Jermichael Hasty. Oh, is this an autograph? This is a good one. 
Oh, wow. Very nice. Raekwon Williams. I don't remember off the top of my head who drafted him. But Raekwon Williams. Michigan State. It's on a thicker cardstock. Very nice. Raekwon Williams. I think he's on... I was just looking at the roster he was on the other day. Does anybody know? Tua rookie and a Jerry Judy. Very nice. Eagles. Okay. Jerry Judy, Jalen Hurts, and Tua. Three Alabama players. Let's go back to the elite. Tyreek Hill, Terry McLaughlin. This guy had a big year last year. Kind of out of nowhere. Tom Brady, the GOAT. AJ Brown, he's a big time receiver. Bisky, there's Hollywood Brown, Bridgewater, Phillip Rivers. Weird seeing him on the Colts. DeAndre Hopkins. Alvin Kamara insert card. That's a nice one. It's got a foil layer on top. Alvin Kamara to Chad. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Cooper Cup. Jared Stidham. Ben Roethlisberger. And Zeke. Okay. Is it really? Wow. Okay, one more chance at Joe Burrow here. We've got four paths. Devin Asiasi went to Michigan for a little while. Hunter Bryant. Yeah, Burrow's got to be coming. I would be very surprised if we don't pull him out of two blaster boxes. Jerry Judy. Looks like we got another auto. And. It is South Carolina player. Oh, no, that's not South Carolina. 
Southern Illinois, Jeremy Chin. Nice looking autograph. Michael Pittman and a Justin Herbert Elite Refractor style. It's a nice looking one. <laughs> oh, they would be gone for sure. <laughs> Those flashback cards are just completely blowing up on eBay. If you look up like how much a Mike Trout base card is going for, it's nuts. Needless to say, in that product, every card is considered a hit. All cards ship on that one. Anything else would be uncivilized. Okay, last pack. There he is, right there. About time. Ding, 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 ding. The bounty has been hit. All right. Bounty giveaway initiated. Initiating bounty giveaway. All right, get in on the bounty giveaway, guys. <laughs> oh yeah for sure I just can't do it anymore Hollis I I get a hangover for like literally a week just does not work with me anymore Like, no joke, a whole week. And it's not just physical either. It's like gets in your, it gets in my head too. Alcohol is powerful. All right, is everybody in? Looks like. Everybody seems to be in. Is Richard in? Richard's in. Event Horizon. Event Horizon. You can get in still. Exclamation mark prize to get in, buddy. Just type type it in the chat. Just like the other guys. Nice. The Jets just cannot win with a quarterback. Everybody was really high on Sam Dalton. I never really liked Sam Dalton that much as a quarterback. Personally... 
All right, I think everybody's in now. So we are on, let's show you how many giveaways we do here. We are on giveaway number four on the night. Keeping it giveaway-ish. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Ryan is the winner. Ryan B, of course. Okay, get ready to spin the wheel. And we'll set a new bounty right after that. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready, Ryan. Yeah, like Matt Liner never panned out at all. I don't even think he had one good year. Who did he even play play for? Matt Liner. All right, here we go. This is Ryan Spin. Make sure we have all these still. All right, we're good. Here you go, Ryan. Big money, no whammies. Yeah, what? Who did line? Oh, Cardinals. There you go. That's right. Liner. San, oh, Sanchez is an enormous pass. Carson Palmer was okay. Five dollars. Five dollar foot long coming your way, Ryan. Carson Palmer was the best out of all of them. John David Booty. Oh my gosh. They were amazing in college and then they just flopped majorly. Major, major flops. All right. I'm going to cook up Ryan's credit here and then we're going to get back to the break guys so we're on 924 924 for Ryan Okay, here you go, Ryan. John David Booty. Did he even get drafted? Oh, Ryan Leaf was the worst. Most quarterbacks just don't pan out. It's it's so funny to me how excited the <clears throat> draft analysts get about them. <clears throat> like, every year they talk about them like they're a slam dunk, but they know that the probability of them panning out is very, very small. Do they, like, just forget what happened the last 20 years? I don't I never understood that. There is no guarantees at all the quarterback position. All right, new bounty, guys, and then we're going to get back to Luminance. New bounty. Exactly. Haskin was a major stud in college, and he looks like he's a flop. 
I don't know. It's hard to tell. Brett Favre is the bounty. It's pretty much just like throwing a dart at a dartboard, in my opinion. Like Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning and Drew Brees, those are the only two quarterbacks that come to mind that just like felt like there was no way they couldn't be good. Yeah, he needs a lot more time. <laughs> yep. The Cowboys already learned that lesson. It's just silly. It just makes no, like, from an, ec just economically, it is a very, very poor choice. It just makes no sense. The easiest player to replace, why would you put all your resources there? Never understood it. Okay, Brett Favre is the bounty. K.J. Hamler, he's no joke. K.J. Hamler is a beast. Shredded Michigan. Completely shredded him. All right, we're on to the main event. That would be you, Ryan. I think you had the Bengals, right? Bengals, yeah, Ryan has the Bengals. Okay, main event coming up. Looks like this is going to be the last break of the night, boys. It happens once in a once in a blue moon, but it is possible to happen. We're going to have something for that eventually, like some like skunk insurance or something like that. Maybe I should have opened this box to save it. It's a nice, nice little housing unit. Yes, exactly. Something like that, Hollis. I do want to do something like that. Sort of like a bad beat if you've ever, if you guys ever seen that at the <clears throat> poker tables. They have sometimes called a bad beat, where if you have like a full house or better, and you and you lose, you actually win the jackpot. That's awesome, John. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. John says he's gonna throw in a Robert, Allen and Ginter rookie card. If we sell the last three spots tonight. Very generous of you, buddy. I appreciate that. Mike Jacecki, DJ Moore. So this is our first look at Luminance. This is a high-end product, guys. DJ Moore, Kenneth Murray, numbered out of 25. This this is nice that they put the teams on the bottom. They don't do that with Chronicles, which makes sorting a lot of fun. So Jess and I will appreciate that. Kenneth Murray to the Chargers. That's Ryan. That one's yours, buddy. There's an Adrian Peterson parallel refractor numbered out of 299. That's a nice one. Adrian Peterson to Robert V. And we've got our first autograph. There's three autographs and one memorabilia card in this box, guys. Brian Edwards, beautiful on-card autograph. Don't know off the top of my head who drafted him. Brian Edwards. Odell Beckham Jr. lights out. Lights out. That's a cool card. That goes to Timothy K. Beautiful. That would look amazing in a in a slab. 
This is just screaming to get graded. He's on the Lions now? Wow. I did not know that. Jacoby Brissett, George Kittle, Ryan Fitzpatrick. I'm trying to read the name on here. Do not know how to pronounce it. Ig. Bino. Igbinogin, no Igbinogin, numbered out of 250, rookie card, Miami Dolphins. Philip V gets this one. These are some fresh looking cards. Got a sweet relic. Uh, it's Jelani Tavai, Polynesian player, numbered out of 100. There's a ton of numbered cards in here for the Lions, and that's for Logan. IPC, for vintage stuff, IPC Jordan, Dion, Bo Jackson. For modern, IPC uh, Frankie Lindor. And um, let's see what else. That's mainly it. Frankie Lindor and uh, a little bit of uh, Tatis. For football, it's Cowboys. And uh, basketball, um, basketball, I don't really PC anyone in particular modern. Jamius Winston, Derek, oh, Derek Jeter is a big one too for, for vintage. Ryan Fitzpatrick, for vintage football, it would be uh, Brett Favre, uh, Tom Brady. I went to Michigan, so Michigan players. This is a Ryan Fitzpatrick. A lot of players. I, I collect a lot of different players. 75, numbered out of 75. This is a green parallel for Philip V. Nice looking Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ivy Leaguer, Drew Locke. Jamius Winston's almost as. Look at the same angle. That's funny. And our next autograph is Yuter Gross Natos. Numbered out of 299 to the Panthers. That's Michael R. Nice. Vent Horizon says he lives near Cleveland, so he PCs Lindor. I think Lindor's cards are underappreciated there is a christian mccaffrey dynamic illuminance espinoza i like too many players i think justin jefferson rookie card nothing wrong with that i suppose Juan Soto is the, the one I was forgetting from Modern. Juan Soto much more than Tatis. Mainly Juan Soto and Lindor. Daniel Jones, Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, DeAndre Hopkins, Thaddeus Moss, Green Parallel. That one goes to Robert V again. Nice one numbered out of 75. 
So Mark Andrews, Inc. Mark Andrews, Inc. Is he a tight end? He looks like a tight end. Numbered out of 99. Beautiful card. Look at that little ink style. Swishy swash. That's the technical term. Mark Andrews. Awesome card goes to Casey I. These are really nice cards. Larry Fitzgerald, Flash. Whoever designed these is uh, I like their I like their style. This one goes to Christy. Tight end from Oklahoma. There you go, Derek. It's funny how you can just look at a player and be like, they look like a tight end. Christian Fulton, that's a good one. Rookie card. And there's our hard to pronounce last name. Polynesian names are very tricky to pronounce. And that is it for Luminance, guys. Very high end product. Might even save the box, actually. Beautiful, beautiful products. We've got more of these that we'll put into mixers, maybe even do single boxes on them as well. Let's give our breaks a quick check here before we sign off. Okay, three spots left in Flashback, three spots left in Stadium Club. Archives. 22 spots left in Archives. So right now, 30 spots will get spread over eight. So lots of unfilled spots. For the claiming and archives, make sure you get in on that if you haven't already. Tomorrow, archives and uh, the Top Stand Club single box are set to go no matter what. Plus anything else that fills, of course. Tonight was a lot of fun, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I had a lot of fun. I think we did ended up doing... How many did we do? Four breaks, I think? We had a jam-packed evening this night, this this uh, tonight. And Don West was in full force. So thank you to everybody. Hope you all are able to tune in tomorrow as well. We'll be live around the same time. And then also remember Monday is from now on for for the foreseeable future. Monday is going to be uh, auction night. For at least a little while until we put a dent in these binders. So if you're not around tomorrow, you can come check us out on Monday. That that Odell Beckham Jr. is awesome. That was my favorite card from that box, I think. I, I'm telling you, it's you gotta get that card graded. That would look so good in a in a slab. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, John, for all of your help tonight. Buddy, I appreciate it, my friend. And um, hope, hopefully you guys can all tune in tomorrow. I'll keep the chat going so you guys can hang out a little bit longer. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace out.